Welcome to Road Gear Reviews. I'm Tom from Morton's on the Move, and today we're taking a look at the new projector, Holite, from New Vending. So this is the new projector. It's uh, This is the Holite model, and this is a portable projector. As you can see, it's relatively small, and this is designed to be able to go with you wherever you go. There is a battery built into this, and it is an LED-based DLP projector. Even though this projector is relatively small, it has about a 1200 lumen output, which is uh, considerable for its size. On the front here, you'll see there's this cover that you pop off, and now you can see the lens on the front. This wheel here dials in the focus of the lens. Here you have controls, buttons, that once you turn it on, they light up, and you can press them to control the on-screen interface. On the back of the projector here, you can see that it's got a lot of different ports and options. It has your two standard HDMI, and this is what you're probably most likely going to use for uh, video inputs. It's got two USB ports that can be used either for power, for say, per powering a Chromecast or something, or for actually data. You could put a flash drive into this and read files directly from it. It's also got an SD card slot reader, so you can put a micro SD in here and read files off of that as well. The charging port and a standard computer lock port, so you could put a cable lock on it. It's also got digital optical out, 3.5 millimeter audio in and out, and a wired LAN port. On the bottom of the projector, you'll see it's got a standard quarter-inch tripod port, so you can easily put this on a tripod and, uh, and set it up anywhere. On the sides, you'll see these vented ports. They are speakers. It's got two speakers that actually have decent stereo sound out of it. On the front, the lens, of course, and then over here is just ventilation. This does have a fan in it to draw air through it and keep it cool. So that's it for the exterior features of this projector. Everything else is inside it. This is a smart projector, and it actually has an Android operating system built onto it. When you turn it on, you'll actually see the interface, and you can scroll around to make selections. You can select the HDMI ports, which one that you want active, or because it's an Android operating system, you can actually run apps directly on it. That's really cool because apps like YouTube or Netflix are already on it. You don't have to plug anything into it. Now, you can plug, say, a Chromecast or a Fire Stick or something like that into it so that you can uh, cast to it, but uh, it's got a lot of those features built right into it. It's basically like your smart TV except in a projector format. So this projector is capable of accepting a 1080p high-definition input from the HDMI cables. However, its native resolution is 720p, meaning that's the number of pixels that it actually broadcasts. So as this is a portable projector, it does have a battery built in, and you can turn it on even when it is not plugged in. To turn it on, you press and hold the power button on the back, the fan kicks on, and you will see it starts projecting almost immediately. Now when it's running on battery, it does decrease the lumen output just a little bit. The screen gets a little bit dimmer, so it saves battery and lasts a little bit longer. In my testing, it appears that this will last for about an hour and a half to two hours on battery. When plugged in, you get the full 1200 lumens, and that's actually really pretty good. I mean, it's not as bright as a professional projector that you'd see hanging in a conference room, but it's bright enough that usually you can see it during the day. The wall charger that comes with it is relatively small and has a decently long cable as well, so you can move the projector around. So to control this projector, you can use the buttons on the top that control the interface, or you can use a mouse. Now, New Vending does sell another th mouse called the NuNet Air Mouse, and you can turn it on, you plug it into the back of the projector, just like so from the USB, and control the mouse just by holding it up and pointing at the screen. This is also neat because it has a little keyboard on the back. Another neat feature I found is that using just a standard wireless USB mouse, you can also control the interface, just like a computer. Now being a smart projector, this does have Wi-Fi capability too. You go into the settings and you connect it to your Wi-Fi network so that it can stream shows, make updates, download apps, and everything that you do on a smart device. Another neat feature that it has is it also has Bluetooth, which is cool because you can connect a Bluetooth speaker to it. We have a pretty nice Bluetooth speaker, so what we would do is set up the projector, set the Bluetooth speaker in front by the screen, and have it stream the audio from this to the Bluetooth speaker, so it sounded really good. We did notice that there was a little bit of a delay in the Bluetooth. It seemed to be worse using the apps on here versus using an HDMI input like our Chromecast, but it was not that bad. We got used to it, and it was still really 
really nice feature. It also has keystone correction so that if you're projecting at a funky angle, you can change the shape of it, which is really nice. It actually has an auto keystone function too, that you, uh, you set it up level and you say this is level and then no matter what angle you put it at, it will automatically change it to be a square on the wall. So for traveling and for us living on the road, a projector like this is really nice because it allows us to project a really large screen without having a really giant TV that takes up a ton of space. In the past when we had a big house, we had a big home theater system in our house with a really big projector and a nice big screen and we, we really enjoyed that and missed it, but there was no way we were going to take a full size projector on the road with us and lug it around. This though is so easy, with the battery we can easily move it around and still set up a nice projection screen to watch a movie or project a presentation or um, really anything that you'd need a big screen for. A small projector like this can work really well and because this is bright enough that you can even see it during the day, it's seems to be a really good option for traveling. So not being a projector expert, but having set up home theater systems in the past and such, I have an idea of what a good projector looks like. I think the color on this is pretty good. Um, the grays and blacks, uh, it kind of crushes the blacks a little bit, but most projectors do. Uh, it's just inherent to them. The, the grays kind of turn black a little bit fast, but the color is really good on it. It is a DLP projector, so fast moving scenes can break the color up a little bit. Um, typically, it's only to really sensitive people that you can see that. You know, it's a standard DLP projector in that regard. Because this projector is LED, it doesn't get real hot and it's supposed to last a really long time. They have a guaranteed life on it of 30,000 hours, which is nice because when we had our big home theater projection system, we replaced the bulb every three to 5,000 hours and it was extremely expensive. Being small, it does have the fan in it, but it is relatively quiet, which is nice. We set it up uh, above our heads uh, in our bedroom and it, the fan doesn't bother us at all. There are adjustments that you can manually control those fan settings, but it's probably best to leave it in auto so that if it does get, to get hot, it can cool itself down. I also found it extremely easy to control. The Android operating system on it seemed really solid, scrolling back and forth, selecting things. It never crashed on me and it seemed to work really well. It did have the latest update on it, um, but you can update Date it via the internet if it's uh, if it's lacking. Uh, I did download a few apps on it that seemed to work just fine. This projector does come from China and. Uh in the Android operating system, there was quite a few Chinese options and things that um, I needed to actually change the keyboard from Chinese to English. That's a little bit of a drawback, but once you get that figured out, it still works just fine. So some of the cons on this that I've found, uh, the zoom functionality is digital. It's not, uh, it's not actually like a, a, a lens correction. So what it does is it crops in on the, uh, the available pixels on this. So you lose some light and you lose some resolution, which is a, uh, not ideal. As I said earlier, the Bluetooth has a little bit of a delay, um, which wasn't a deal breaker for us. We, as I said, it was worse with the apps internal, but once we kind of got used to it, it didn't really bother us that much. You also get slightly fewer lumens when you're on battery, but you know, that makes sense so that you get a longer battery life out of it. Overall, we've been really happy with this little projector. We think it's really worth the price. It's, uh, it's, it's not really a branded unit. Um, this whole light is, uh, is, is not a name brand that you're going to recognize, but it seems to work really well. We haven't found really any issues with it, and for being so portable and being able to travel with us, it's worked really great. We've enjoyed movies under the stars with it. We've even used it to do some light painting outside and take some pictures of things that we've, we've projected images up on and uh, just set up movie theaters in our in our little in our RV and um, really enjoy big screen movies in a small space. So this has been the new projector Holite from New Vending. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for weekly videos uploaded every Wednesday. I'm Tom from Morton's on the Move and we'll see you next time. If you have any questions or comments please leave them below. Also be sure to subscribe to our channel for weekly uploads of our travel product reviews.